Good morning. Welcome to day 142. Very, very happy today to have most of our trail family back together again. Pace and Deceiver are still way ahead and probably going to summit in a few days, maybe. Um, but we got Captain Chaos, Stinger, and Bearded Frog back into the fold, if you will. The band is back together, at least part of the band. And, um, we're happy about it. It's good to be together. I got my new shoes on today. I have already fallen once. <laughs> Initial thoughts on my Hoka Speed Goats. Narrow, sloppy fit. That's, of course, day one, hour one. And got to remember, I've been wearing the Ultra Olympus 5 for 2,000 miles. So these are a temporary solution until I get to Monson, Maine, where I get my next pair of ultras. I think people have been curious about how many shoes I've been going through. Honestly, it's a lot. I've gone through one, two. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. At least five, at least five, if not more. But had an amazing zero day yesterday. Re relaxed, rested, did a bunch of videos. Um, might be the last chunk of videos until I'm done. Just because I'm gonna be out in the wilderness and I'm gonna need to conserve all my battery. I'm still gonna video and maybe edit, maybe not. So once I'm in the 100 mile wilderness, up through Summit in Katahdin, I don't know that I'm gonna have an opportunity to charge anything, so. We'll see. But had a great zero, highly recommend Maine Roadhouse Hostel. Incredible. Jen is amazing. How she does all of that is remarkable. Food, everything, they think of everything that hikers need. I need two hands. It's been really steep up to this point. A lot of climbing since we got dropped off. It was flat for a bit. And now it's just been climbing steadily. So I figured I'll show you the flat section of the trail. Sort of flat, but notice it's not like a path. So lots of rocks and roots to navigate. So you can't really get up much speed on this terrain. This is what is deceiving when we look at far out or when we look at AWOL. It might show less elevation, but what you don't see is what the terrain is. Like in Pennsylvania, a lot of times it was relatively flat, but it was so rocky you couldn't, you couldn't go fast. You couldn't 
can get a um, stride going or a cadence. But it's beautiful in here this morning, real hot, real humid, but that's fine. It's not raining. I don't care. I'll take the friggin' heat and bugs and whatever, as long as it's not raining. The other thing this does for us is it helps with all the river crossings. It helps with all the water in the 100 mile wilderness that was really high. There was a lot of rerouting that took place in there for people because of high water. So we're hoping that this will offer the opportunity for that water to recede a bit before we get up there. But we'll see. One day at a time. Today, I just have to get through today. Today, I only have to worry about today. you want to have clear skies when you hike the Bigelows. There are the crockers. In the foreground is Sugarloaf. Behind it are Spalding and Abraham. Ooh, and those are the Bigelows over there that we're going to. This is gorgeous Maine right here. Beautiful Maine. <laughs> the woods are beautiful in between the summit of South Horn and the Bigelows. It's very pretty and cool and 
They're a little out of the sun, which is nice because it is hot. So there was North Horn, which I did not go to. I've been to that for the 100 highest. Um, came up over South Horn and now headed over to the Bigelows. And I think they are called Bigelow West and East Peak. I can't remember now. All I have to do is look on my phone and figure it out. <laughs> but anyway, we're headed to one of those first, and then we'll go down into a pretty decent call in between the two peaks. That's our next water, so I'm trying to be smart about water. And then up to the next Avery Peak, or Avery Peak. I don't know why I'm so confused about the names. <laughs> and then down for quite a few miles to get our bags, well, our stuff that goes in our bags. And then we'll hike a couple more miles with full packs into where we're tenting tonight, which is on Flagstaff Lake. So hoping we get there at a reasonable time and get to enjoy the lake a little bit before we go to sleep. The good thing about when a trail looks like that is you get the miles done quick. It's just steep. <laughs> Let's go get it. Flagstaff Lake back there. Still going up. So I think the first peak is South Peak. And then I think the other one is Avery. And they're both the Bigelows. It's the Bigelow Mountain Range. And so I think that's what it is. South Peak and Avery. Bigelow West Peak and Bigelow Avery Peak. So that's what it is. South Peak is South Horn, the one that I was on before this. Those two peaks I just came from. Unbelievable, huh? Still climbing. Beautiful Flagstaff Lake. Horns. Crockers. Sure love.
water is so still that the clouds are reflecting in it all the way up here. So we're gonna hike down in between these two peaks and then go right back up. That mountain in front of me, Avery Peak of the Bigelows is the last 4,000 foot mountain that I will be hiking until I get to Katahdin. Crazy, huh? I welcome that break. <laughs> Let me tell you, who do I welcome this break? <laughs> My little hobbit feet welcome the break. <laughs> but we'll see what's in store for them. There's West Avery, just came down from that. Or, sorry, West Peak. And now I'm going up to Avery Peak. Nice, nice little breeze up here, which is good. We just got water from a, a boxed spring, which is basically a box around a spring. The spring, spring ain't flowing very much, so we had a hard time getting water, but we had enough to get us to the next one, so it's funny, even with all the rain, I would have thought that there was more water. More water would be flowing in that spring, but all the alpine vegetation and flowers nice and healthy undisturbed thank you to people for staying on the trails and keeping your pets especially excited puppies keeping them on leash so they stay on trail important 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 Summit. Unbelievable. What a perfect day. Last time I hiked this, I was with Kenny and Sarcy back in October, I think. When we came up and stayed at Kenny and Jill's. Oh my God, we had so much fun. Always a good time at Kenny and Jill's. Always. The most warm and welcoming hosts. Unbelievable. Still can't get over how much they did for us. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And their family was so kind to let us stay there during their family time which was incredibly sweet and kind so oh you big time you guys huge debt of gratitude from me cup and scorecard here we go Avery Peak Mount Bigelow, named in honor of Myron Halle... Halliburton Avery, 1899-1952. For his foresight, leadership, and diligence made possible the Appalachian Trail, this 2,000-mile footpath from Maine to Georgia. And unfortunately, there is graffiti on that, which... Fortunately, there was graffiti on there, which was... Graceful. Just 
graffiti just makes me sick. Only little turns and losers. Do graffiti. Okay. Unless it's something that is a an art form that has been requested and paid for give an expression of art otherwise it's just desecration of something something that doesn't belong to you beautiful out here today I'm gonna pay attention while I'm walking so I'm hoping that the camera is pointing at a good angle because I need to watch her walking I have to say that that placard that in my of Myron Avery means so much more to me now. Like, I get it. Like, it means something to me now that I've listened to the Green Tunnel and learned about all that Myron Avery did for the Appalachian Trail. And after hiking 2,000 plus miles on the Appalachian Trail, I definitely have a profound appreciation for the incredible extensive work that was needed to create this uh, collectively it was an incredible undertaking to do this to create this trail system um, and what a journey it provides for so many regardless of whether you're going northbound southbound section hiking flip-flopping it's truly an incredible experience no matter how you slice and dice it. What a blessing. Thank you, Myron. And now Avery Peak holds so much more meaning to me than it ever has. temperature wise and just the trail it's almost like a little maze through boulders <laughs> huge boulder Lots of them in here. Look at the size of that thing. It's huge. Big lows. Wow. That's what it's that like. Can't wait to dunk myself in that later. Yeah.
like you just had lunch. This is where I am camping today. Oh, hell yeah. Talking, but I definitely would go for a big swim with you. I won't go the whole way, but I would love to swim out. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, Money! Wow. <laughs> that was the worst, laziest throw. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh yeah, that I'm was I'm being fun. such a wimp. Oh, my feet just can't take it. It's too hard. Oh, that's so much better. That's not a loon, that's Frodo. <laughs> right here. So, if this doesn't tell you how high the water is, look at that. Can you see that in the video? I think you can. There's a fire ring um, um, underwater. See you. Yep. <laughs> there it is.
<laughs> I think I'm going to set my tent up right there. Did you have a good day today? Amazing. Amazing day. Why? Amazing. What made it amazing? I didn't even try. Look at that sunset. You're so lucky. This is the view outside my tent. I couldn't be happier. <laughs>